Hi friends, how are you all? Hope all of you are doing well. Today in this video, I am going to tell you about how to measure BP. First, I will be starting with the definition of BP. Its normal values is when it's called as high blood pressure, then when it's called as low blood pressure. Then I will be dealing with how to measure the BP using different BP apparatus and lastly, how the BP measuring apparatus actually work. We all know that blood is circulating all over the body through blood vessels. While circulating, the blood exerts some pressure on the walls of blood vessels and that pressure is called as blood pressure. So by definition, it is the lateral pressure exerted by the circulating blood upon the walls of blood vessels. We have two components here, the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure. The systolic pressure is the maximum pressure exerted and the diastolic pressure is the minimum pressure. The units of BP are millimeters of mercury that is mm of Hg. The normal values of BP is 120 by 80 mm of Hg. A patient is said to have high blood pressure if he is having the BP of 140 by 90 mm of Hg over a number of weeks. This time period over a number of weeks that is more than 2 or 3 weeks is very much important to diagnose that the patient is having high blood pressure. If he has 140 by 90 mm of Hg just for 2 days and after that he has its normal values then he is not considered as a high BP patient. Next one is the patient is said to have low BP if he has BP value of less than 90 by 60 mm of Hg. Even if one of the two numbers is lower then it is considered to be as low BP. To make it clear for example the diastolic pressure is normal that is 80 but the systolic pressure has dropped less than the 90 then it is considered as low BP. In the same way, the systolic pressure is normal that is 120 but the diastolic pressure has dropped less than 60 then also it is considered as low BP.